in the last video we have seen how to create the custom form and uh, in that video we had created this form and uh, added this four field and one submit button so you can find that video link in the description uh, right now if i we have not added any validation so in the first name like it is accepting the special character and uh, in the zip code field uh, we will add the validation like it should as accept only the numbers not the characters so right now the validations are not added now i will submit this form you can see the form is submitted now we will add the validations to the form so these are the form fields inside the validate form function we will add the validation so for that first we need to get the this fields data we can get this field data using the dollar form underscore state get values function and uh, i will store that data in a one variable form field equal to dollar form underscore state get values now i will create the four variables for the uh, these uh, four inputs fields like first name last name email and the zip code so first name equal to dollar form field and uh, the field name so in this variable we will get the the first name field value uh, value we will trim this same way we will create the four fields like this will be for the last name next will be for employee email dollar email and uh, last one is for the zip code Empl emp underscore you can see the name of that field is emp underscore zip code now here we will add the validations for the each field so for the first name we will write one regex regular expression so that it should accept only the characters we will search for that regular expression regex for the first name and uh, so we can refer this one copy this go to browser in this regular expression the code is written to accept the apostrophe and the space so we will remove the space we will only accept the apostrophe and the a to z character and condition should be not so and enter the first name so this condition is like if the character does not match then it should show the message the so message will be like form underscore state set error by name so we will show this error message for the emp first name field now of this t and a message error message enter the valid name 
first name I will save this I will check if it is working or not now I will add some special characters in the first name field we are getting the error message that uh, enter the valid first name now we will add the actual valid first name and again save it so you can see the form is submitted now it is redirecting to the first page now we will redirect it to the that uh, form only for that uh, change this to the our route name our route name is employee dot employee copy this and paste it here so that it will redirect us to the same page now we will add the validation for the last name similar way copy this paste it and just change the variable names last name equal to this enter the value last name to validate the email id we will use the drupal service uh, that uh, its name is uh, email dot validator to validate the email id so if it is not we will call that service here drupal service service name is the email dot validator and uh, in that uh, call the is valid function and pass the our variable name okay if uh, it is not a uh, valid then we can show the message let's enter the valid email change it to the email let's enter valid email now the next field is the zip code and uh, in the zip code it should accept only the six digits only for that we will add the one regular expression just copy this code change the regular expression for that the regular expression should be like d d means digits and uh, digits from 1 to 6 1 comma 6 and here change the variable name by zip code change the error message to the enter the valid zip code now we have saved this file now go to the our page refresh the page and uh, check if all validations are working or not so first i will add the special characters now click on the save button so you can see here we are getting these errors like enter the valid first name last name email address and the zip code now we will add the proper data like first name should be of characters email id address.com zip code and click on the save button so you can see the data has been saved successfully right now we have not saved data just we have added the 
validation in the next video i will show you how to save the data into the database so i hope this video is helpful for you please like the video and subscribe the channel